Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another episode of Women in Society. My name is Fatima Deoji Jafar and I'm going to discuss various topics that affect women in our society. Today I'm going to discuss a topic that many women seem to struggle with. Can women balance their time between work and home? Some say yes, some argue no. It is a debate that has been raging for decades. The Thomas Reuters Foundation and the Rockefeller Foundation found that work-life balance was considered a top issue. Four of the five Asian countries in the G20 said balancing work and home was the most challenging issue faced in the workplace. A factor that is stressed when considering that some Asian societies expect mothers to coach their children through the highly competitive school system. As women earn their independence and work outside the home, they begin to realize it is very different from what a man experiences. Men are traditionally the breadwinners. They work, then come home to relax. A woman works and comes home to continue her work in the house. Exhausted, she begins to wonder if she can handle both. In 2015, more than half the world's women and men were working. More precisely, 52.1% of women and 51.2% of men in the labor market are wage salaried workers. With both men and women in the workforce, how do women cope with a job at home as well? Can you be successful in your career and also take care of your family? It is a question that women face all across the globe. Women fall into one or two camps. They either believe that they can have both a career and a family, or they believe their career must be sacrificed if they want to raise children and vice versa. How do some women do it without giving up their career? Why do others find it necessary to give up their dreams and stay at home to keep the family going? Being a working mother is not an easy road. According to the International Labor Office, at the global level, women in the workforce have decreased from 52 to 49 percent since 95. The alarming trend doesn't bode well for the future of women in the workplace. Women should be gaining a footage and increasing numbers in the workforce. A report from the United Nations claims, as a group, women work as much as men, if not more. When both paid and unpaid work such as household chores and caring for children are taken into account, women work longer hours than men. Women are intelligent, skilled, and able to handle the same jobs as men. They are now found in every job in the market. If women are single and have no obligations outside of the workforce, balancing home and work is not really an issue. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, however, 69.9% of women either working or looking for work had children under the age of 18 and found themselves in a stressful situation. How do they balance work and family? Most women feel that they're being overwhelmed with careers and family care. There just aren't enough hours in a day to get everything done. Women burn the candle at both ends running at high speed, forsaking sleep to accomplish more work. Eventually, their bodies begin to shut down. Illness sets in and they get sick. Either sick or stress becomes too great and they collapse mentally. Being a full-time working mother can lead to feelings of guilt and stress because of the divided attention between work and family. Surprisingly, some well-known women in the workforce are now saying a woman can't do both an extremely candid PepsiCo CEO Indra Nui admitted how hard it is to get it right, saying, I don't think women can have it all. I just don't think so. We pretend we have it all. We pretend we can have it all. However, other successful women, like economist Sylvia Ann Hewlett, CEO of Center for Talent Innovation and mother of four, thinks women can have it all, but maybe not all at the same time. Sharon Mears and Joanna Strauber, co-authors of Getting to 50-50, How Working Parents Can Have It All, contend that you can learn effective strategies for achieving a greater work-life balance. The value of negotiation, how to ask for more specific goals and objectives at work, and the importance of letting go on perfection are just a few strategies they recommend. You can balance your life and enjoy work and family if you're willing to compromise, and if others in the family help out. Before any changes can be instituted, you need to share your feelings and stress with those that care about you, including your husband, children, and parents. Find a time when you can all sit down together without any distractions. Keep the discussion calm and lay out what is happening to you and how it is affecting you. In many cases, family members may be unaware of the extent of your stress. As a family, you need to create a plan. 
Get organized and find the right balance between your profession and your family. Find moments for yourself. Take breaks, relax, do something for yourself. Take a day at the spa, let them pamper you. You also need to eat well and get plenty of rest. Every family member needs to pitch in. According to the Pew Research Center, studies show an unequal division of labor in most partnerships. Couples in households with two full-time working parents answered a series of questions about the division of tasks in the house. In managing the children's schedules and activities, 54% felt the mother did more. 39% said it was a shared equally. According to the survey, 47% said that the mother did more when the children are sick. Another 47% felt it was shared equally. As far as handling household chores and responsibilities, 31% said that women did more and 59% said it was equal. When asked about disciplining children and playing or doing activities, 20 to 22% said that mom did more. 61 to 64% said it was shared equally. What the center discovered was that women and men didn't have the same perception of the division of labor. The men were more likely than women to say that the responsibilities were shared equally. But women are likely to say that they take on a larger role. Juggling a career and family is not an easy task, but it can be done. Recently, Forbes spoke with a variety of women in high-powered positions, and they shared how they survived. Susan Wojcicki, the CEO of YouTube, Helen Morizny, the CEO of Newton Investment Management, and Karen Finnerman, the CEO of Metropolitan Capital Advisors, and panelists on CNBC's Fast Money shared how they handled five children, nine children, and two sets of twins, respectfully, and their duties as a CEO. All three use the organizational skills from work in the family setting. Being the boss lets you delegate responsibilities at work and at home. Leadership means being focused on the whole picture, especially in managing work and home. The other family members can focus on their specific duties. Mary Crotty, assistant general counselor at Pre Fritzer and a mother of eight, encourages women to accept help. Hillary Clinton said, it takes a village to raise a child. Make use of your village, appeal to grandparents and friends to help out. Each of these women, along with countless others, have achieved their dreams. They've climbed the rugs of the corporate ladder and have made it to the top. Each one of them have large families and have learned and used all the techniques above to help them make the climb. You can do the same. With a viable support system, you can balance work and home and enjoy both. I hope you all enjoyed today's talk. I'd love to have your feedback on today's topic. Please feel free to share your thoughts through our Facebook and Twitter accounts. I'd love to know your thoughts on work-life balance. What are some of the tips and techniques that you use and that help you create a happy balance? Thank you.